So this was supposed to be lesson four, but I think we're going to sneak it into lesson three to give ourselves a bit of extra time. So it might be we can kind of just do some more recap and stuff on, on some of the other ones bits in our next lesson. Right, so let's have a look at this question. So it says a bag contains five blue discs and seven red discs. Two discs are removed without replacement. Find the probability that the first one is a red. So the first one is a red would be seven out of twelve. Find the probability the second one is blue, given that the first one was a red. So if I take the red out, I've still got five blue discs, but I'm down to 11 discs in total. So that's just written how on the tree diagram, isn't it? And that's what conditional probability is, without replacement. So then it says, uh, find the probability that the first was a red and the second one was a blue. So I just need to tangent them together. Once again, this is literally just what you'd get on a tree diagram. So what's that? Uh, 121, isn't it? Hang on. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Can't be 12 times 11. I don't know. Now that, the way I've done that, was to do it as the probability of my red one times by the probability that the blue happened given that the red was on my first one. And that creates the conditional probability formula. So the conditional probability formula is given here. Now that's how it is on the formula sheet. The formula sheet shows it like that. I tend to write it like this. But also, I've got to be really careful here. Whatever the given that is, goes on the bottom, because that's what I'm choosing out of. So in the formula, you've got to be really careful. The given that goes on the bottom, because that's what you're choosing out of. And that's really, really important in the formula. So the bit on the bottom, because that's where you're choosing from, is the, the given that part of it. Right. So it says here, so we've got the probability of B given that A. So we know the probability of B, given that A has already happened, is A and B, which is the same as B and A, over, now A is the given that, so it must be A. So what am I after now? So A and B. So I find A and B. So I know that B given that A is 0 0.5. So that's A and B over B, which is 0 0.8. So I've got 0 0.5 times 0 0.8 is A and B, which is 0 0.4. There. A or B. Well, I know that A or B is A plus B minus the overlap. Because that's just what we've always done. So, what have we got? So, 0 0.4, 0 0.8 minus A and B. Oh, hang on. Why are there no numbers in there? <gasps> oh, I've made a mistake. Look at this. Can you see my mistake? Oh, hang on. Change the thing. Bit of A is 0 0.4, not 0 0.8. Oh, why didn't you stop me? Why didn't you stop me? That's 0 0.2. So that there will be 0 0.2. Sorry about that. I just missed. I looked like there's a number on you. There. So that's going to give us. A or B. There's 
one. Nice. And the last one is A given that B has already happened. So the probability of A given that B has already happened is A and B, but we're dividing by B because that's what we're choosing from. Okay, so A or B is A and B, which we've worked out is 0 0.2 when we do it properly, divided by B, which is 0 0.8 when we do it properly. So A divided by B, that's going to be 2 over, it's going to be a quarter, isn't it? So 0 0.25. Now what's quite important here, and quite a nice point to spot, I keep pressing the wrong button, sorry. That one, that one. That one. What's quite important to spot here is that A and B, A given that B's happened, is not the same as B given that A's happened. So it's really, really important to spot that they're not the same. So that's really, really important. Now there's one for you to have a go at. I hope they're not stuck here by putting that the wrong number there. There's one there for you to have a go at. Right. Keep going. Alright, so let's have a look at this one then. So I've got A and I've got B and I've got and. So that's okay, isn't it? Right, so probability of, oops, oh, press the wrong button again. Change it over. Probability of A given that B has happened is A and B over B. So A given that B. It's A and B, which is 0.3, over B, which is 0.7. So the probability of A given that B has happened is 0.7. The probability of B given that A has happened is A and B, but this time over A. So A and B is 0.3, that's 0.3. Five, three fifths. So once again, stressing the point that these are not the same. Um, there's one for you. I'll stop the vid and then we'll do another vid for now. We've got two more questions to do, I think. So I'll stop it now.